major sources of growth for the economy of Uganda between 1982 and 2020 why the economy was growing in that period yeah so the first reason for the growth is the good economic policies that for example the physical and monetary policies physical policies we said it's about government revenue and expenditure then the monetary policies about money demand and supply so the good economic policies for example the physical and monetary policies led to economic to macroeconomic stability in the country they were good what access in the country and the government was receiving what revenue from the taxes yeah and then they were regulating money demand and supply so it led to growth of the country between that period another reason is increased private sector investment especially in industry and construction very many people have invested in industry and construction very many people have invested in the private sector very many people have come up with private company investors keep coming to invest and then local people are also investing so the increased private sector investment also contributed to the growth of Uganda in that period then large donor support geared towards public sector spending on social services large large donor support from from organizations like IMF World Bank and World Bank that support the public sector spending on social services it has also contributed to the growth of Uganda another reason for the growth is favorable external environment that is outside Uganda for example substantial debt re- relief they forgive you the debt that you're having and relatively low borrowing costs in those outside organizations and outside countries and high commodity prices especially for agricultural products because it's our export mainly and Uganda became a beneficiary of the heavily indebted poor countries debt relief in 1988 to 1999 so it contributed to the growth of Uganda the favorable external environment another reason is increased exports and thus better terms of trade with new exports particularly fish cut flowers and maize yeah so when exports increase even the revenue of the country increase which in turn increases the gdp yeah, and when gdp increase it's a sign of growth and another reason is removal of economic distortions that were introduced by uh, idi amin and obote yeah the removal of economic distortions such as price controls and the resultant black marketing fixed foreign exchange regime 24 high tariffs and the resultant smuggling so when when they remove the economic distortions that were put mainly by Idi Amin there had to be growth yeah, so those are some of the reasons why there was growth there was growth in Uganda between the period of 1982 and 2020 Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, join and become a member of the Nation Academy by tapping on the blue button down there.